Hello, I wanted to shoot a quick video on setting up the GMSA service accounts and some of the pitfalls that um, you could possibly hit. So we're going to start by going into PowerShell, right click and right click again and run as administrator. And the first thing that we need to do is set up the key distribution services root key. So we're going to add KDS root key. Uh, you'll see some uh, tutorial say effective immediately. Don't do that. It's a pain in the ass. Instead, do effective time. Get hyphen date period add hours negative. 10 hours because it takes 10 hours for it to propagate between domain controllers and then we just hit enter and please do make sure to do this on a domain controller it will not work on a member server now that we've got that we get to set up a new service account so we do new ads service account name will be GMSA test. The DNS host name will be the name of our domain controller. Give us a second for tab completion to complete. And it will be Contoso read write dc contoso Dot com. Uh, the reason that I have Contoso in the actual server name is if you ever do external trusts and you have server names that are the same, you're going to have a problem between those two servers if that's where you're setting the trust up at. And we hit enter and we now have GM as a test. I'm going to go to the server manager and go into the ADAC. What we should have in the ADAC now is our group service account. There's GMA test, GMSA test, and we're going to go properties on this. And we do need to add the servers that we want to be able to participate in the GMSA service group. And that does include the domain controller. Just because you created on the domain controller doesn't mean it's going to participate. So. We do meet, need to make that distinction. Uh, it needs to have read, and that's fine. Here we go, OK. Now that these are part of the group, you have to restart your servers. So the server that we restart last is going to be your domain controller. Actually, strike that. This should be the first machine you restart, because we want to make sure it comes back up. So when we restart the other servers, this is available for servicing those requests and that those standalone or member servers, sorry, member servers can get their group identification updated. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. I'm going to shut down and restart the other servers and then I will restart the video. All right, we're back from our restart, and the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the system out of that group which machines are able to retrieve the managed password. So we're going to set AD service account, identity, and then the GMSA test. Wait for tab completion. And principles allowed to retrieve manage password. And it's going to have to be Contoso.
COSO, read write DC01, dollar sign, and hopefully I haven't misspelled anything. Double check this and we'll hit enter. And there we go, that's been done. So we've got our GMSA service group built. We have our machines in that service group and we have told the service account which machines are allowed to retrieve the password from that service group. Now we do have to go to our target machine and finish up by installing the service account which will make it available on our again target machines. So now we're going to go and install, and you're going to have a second problem here. And what I want you to notice is tab completion will not complete here. And we'll go ahead and just type this in full just so you can see the error. All right, we're going to get an error. And the reason for this is the Active Directory PowerShell modules not installed. The only way to do that is to install Windows feature RSAT. And I'll pause the video why this does this. The import module active directory command doesn't work, so this is the way you're going to do it. Okay, so far this has taken about a minute just to give you an idea of how long to wait. And let's give this a shot now. Hopefully this works with no errors. All right, I'm gonna go back to the server manager, tools and services to check all this out. We'll go find a disabled service. Let's find something that's not running here. Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Let's go to Internet Connection Sharing Service. Let's go to Log On. Go to this account and browse. I'm going to go to Locations and change it from the context of the local server to the directory. Go to Object Types, Service Accounts, go OK. Advanced and just fine now. There's GMA test. Go OK. And there we go. That's it. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And OK. And that was it. I hope that you find this video helpful.